Happy holidays, everyone. Today I will be showing you six farmhouse Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. For this first DIY, I am using these two Dollar Tree items. I have a um, piece on earth sign and then a really pretty wall tile that I'm going to paint. So first I'm gonna use my antique wax on top of this. And then for this, I am going to, I believe I'm gonna go over it with white and then use red paint to kind of go over the raised edges or raised surfaces on here. I used some water on my brush so the stain looks a little lighter. And then I just wiped the um, top of it with the paper towel. So I figured out how I'm gonna paint it. I just took a sponge brush the ones that come on here. And I removed the sponge, I cut it in half with my scissors. To cover this, I'm gonna go ahead and use this paint. It's a khaki colored paint. Um, I think I got it from Michaels. And what I did was just take it and to get into like all of the crevices of the, of the wall tile, I, you, cause if you just rub it, it just goes on the top. So you want to dab it on so you get all in there and then once you do that you can go ahead and swipe it and so obviously I'm gonna have to do about maybe two or three coats so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue and let you see two coats of the khaki paint. Now I'm going to use my sponge brush. I'm gonna take some red paint and I am just going to go lightly over the top raised areas of this um, wall tile. Once I have all of this um, painted the way I want, um, since it is the tile, it has a sticky side. So I'm gonna take a piece of foam board and I'm just gonna stick it on here so it has a sturdy background. And then I will hot glue the sign on top. For this next DIY, I have three wooden pieces. You can use anything you want. I decided to use three different size wood pieces from Dollar Tree. So I have a wooden cutting board. I also have this piece from there and it's just a plaque. And then I have this one. I think, yeah, this one came with the lid. So I just removed that. What I'm gonna do is paint all three of them with that same cream paint. And then we're gonna make like little presents out of them. So I wanna do like a little setup in the corner. Um, I'm not sure where, maybe in the kitchen of the three little gifts or presents. And you can use any ribbon you want. So I have some Dollar Tree one. This was from the fall. And it's just um, like a buffalo check print, but it's red, has red. 
And then I also have this one. I just picked this up on the weekend from Dollar General. So as you can see, it has 30 feet for $5, which is a lot. It's a lot of ribbon. So I don't know if I'm gonna use both or maybe just one of them. And since this is a more of a farmhouse Christmas decor video, I'm gonna do like the creamy color like I mentioned and I believe I'm going to add some of my stain as well to make it look a little rustic looking. Okay, so all I did was run over it lightly with a bristled brush and a little bit of water and antique wax. I'm not sure if you can see it that well. Just to give it a little bit of that farmhouse look. I'm gonna show you all that real quick. I just dip my brush in water. And then a little bit into the antique wax. And I kind of just um, dab the excess off. And then you want to run lightly over it. And then I will wipe it with a paper towel so it's not so harsh. See, it gives it that perfect look. And then if you want to give it a little more detail, you can add some... Just kind of uh, dab the sides and the corners. Grab more of the antique wax so it's a little darker. Kind of like that. In random spots. I have one gift box made already. Very simple. And the way I did that was you're just gonna lay out your ribbon, place your piece, wooden piece on top or whatever you are using. Um, you wanna have some of the ribbon left off on both sides. So this side I have it cut already and then this side is still connected to uh, all of the ribbon. So then we're just going to twist them like this. And then you're gonna go the opposite way, like that. And you can just kind of fix it to the way you want. Make sure nothing is folded over and it's flat. And then you're gonna take the rest of it and glue it underneath, like that. So I'm gonna trim off. And then you can just hot glue it like that. Then you can grab whatever you want and put it on top. You can even add a bow, but I've been doing so many bows in my latest videos. I decided to do something different and of course a little more farmhouse. So I brought out some Christmas greenery. I used one of these picks from Hobby Lobby and of course it's been picked off a lot. So I'm just going to grab one of these pieces and add it. For the next DIY, I have these gingerbread men foam sheets from Dollar Tree. I really like these because they come with 12 and they also have like different shapes. I even have the Christmas tree ones. I'm also going to use this gift trim from Walmart. I love it. Really pretty. I'm going to make a really simple garland out of so, it. So this is what I came up with for the female. So what I'm going to do is do two girls. Two females and then one male is use my chalk writer from Dollar Tree and it's really simple you can see it goes on really well and it's smooth except for this one I'm not gonna do the, the little hair like that <laughs> I'm not gonna do any hair at all and I will make the bow again to show y'all but I will be using it right here on the neck like a bow tie
So I just spread out this trim and I'm gonna do it to where, like if they're using their little arm to hang on to it. Next DIY, I am making uh, a simple one. I am using this Dollar Tree cloche. Um, this was originally black and I used it for, I believe in the fall time I painted it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like that. I'm just gonna go over it a little with my antique wax just to give it more of a wood color. And then what I wanna do is add I think I'm gonna put um, either some salt or sugar right here so it looks like snow and then this is a Dollar Tree tree <laughs> Christmas tree and um, I just I had this already or you can see it is a little bigger than these or you can use smaller ones I actually picked these up from Dollar General so these came three for a dollar really good deal and then I have the little village people or a little village um, like tree and it has that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there yet. So I'll add that in here too. I have the lid right here. I put some sugar on top. Now there was a little hole. So I just added a little bit of hot glue to cover it and then added the sugar. I know for sure I'm gonna add a tree right here and these cute little trees. I'm not gonna hot glue this stuff down just in case I wanna change out anything. Oh my God, these little figurines are so funny. I just noticed this one it has like, the guy has like a mountain of snowballs that he's carrying. <laughs> it looks really funny. For this next DIY, I have this really pretty Christmas candle holder from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to do a few things to it just to give it a little bit of a makeover. I don't really need to do too much because it's really pretty, but to make it a little rustic, I have some beads right here, some of my Amazon beads. I'm gonna use one of these or some of these on here. And what I need to do is stain them first. So I'm gonna grab a cup of a little bit of water and add some of my antique wax in there and place some of these in here. Once they're dry really well, then I'm gonna glue some on the star. So I just have a um, painting cup that I always use for my brushes and you can see the beads in there. So now I'm just gonna take them out on a napkin and let them dry. A lot of my beads are um, dried right here. Now I am going to just glue some to the star. I am going to make a triple wreath. I have some greenery right here, Christmas greenery that I have been having for a while and I haven't 
used it for anything so I thought this would be perfect to use this that way I can use it up and plus I really like the way it looks now excuse my hands I have stain and stuff all over from staining the from staining the beads I'm also going to use this really pretty um, ribbon from Hobby Lobby and again you can use whatever you have on hand and the reason why I'm using this I do have a little bit of the Dollar Tree burlap but not that much so I figured this was um, perfect for this one and I didn't have to go out and buy anything since I already had it so it's a perfect free DIY for myself you can use whatever greenery you have any type of ribbon you want it doesn't have to be you know the same as mine so I'm just spreading this out so this is going to be the base of my wreath okay and then you just put this right here so I won't move now this one so this is real easy all I'm going to do is just take some of this and form it into a wreath and kind of see how full I want it and I'm going to grab some of my floral wire from Dollar Tree and use that to help me form the wreath All right, I got my three wreaths ready. And what I'm gonna do is leave some at the top, some of the ribbon. I'm gonna hot glue them down like this. So I'm gonna place one about right here. Another one right here. And then another one right here. And then, and then I'll also leave some hanging at the end. And then I made a quick bow with this Walmart ribbon that I have been having for a couple years. And I'm gonna add it right here at the top. So I'm gonna cut trim this down. I wasn't sure how long I needed it. So that's why I did it that long. It's like right here. Then at the bottom right here, I'm just gonna do a dove's tail. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you are subscribed and you hit the bell because on Saturday, November 20th, which is in a few more days, I will be posting a new video on some DIYs for your kitchen. You won't want to miss it. See you then.